What's going on guys, it's Renee Breezy and today I have a Mauler Mammoth and Juggernaut medal that I got first try. I've been wanting to get a, a Mauler variant, like a epic version, like the Sentinel or the Ma uh, Mammoth for a while, but I haven't been able to get it from like supply drops, so I just like, um, I just saved up for like salvage, for a salvage to get one. I was fine. I was debating between the Mammoth or the, the Scout. For that, not the not the Mauler, the I forgot what it's called, the Titan. It was either the Scout or the, or these three right here. I don't know which one to get. I ended up picking the Mauler just because I don't know. I, I kind of wanted a Mauler variant, and you know, let me show you the class setup real quick. You know, uh, I was using Elo or ELO with Quick Draw, Grip, um, Stock, Ghost, Scavenger, and Ghost. Wait, actually, never mind. I wasn't using Ghost. In one of my gameplays, I think the first try, the first um try that I for when I went to her when I got the Juggernaut medal, for some reason I wasn't using um Scavenger. Like I noticed, like when I checked my class setup, I wasn't using um Scavenger. I was using Hardline. Like, I, and I didn't notice that. But I mean, in the gameplay, the first gameplay you're watching, I am using um Scavenger. And in the next gameplay, I'm not using Scavenger. I'm using Hardline. But I would have most likely used Scavenger. Nah, I don't, know. I don't use hardline, but I mean, what is there to say about this gun? This gun is a two shot kill at any range. Two, two shots, two shot them. I, I, I couldn't say that. I don't know why. Just two shot them, and they'll I'll make them die. Plus, it has a rifle barrel, even better. I mean, not that it needs it. And I mean, if you want, you can take out the stock and put on the suppressor. I guess that's what some people have done. Or I mean, or it's standing mags, but then again, it's an LMG, so it really has a lot. It really has a lot of bullets. But for me, stock worked. There's a class that I make sure to, to you know to try it out. And like I said, you can try take out the stock for anything that you want and stuff like that. And that's it. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you enjoyed. What's up, guys? It's Renee Breezy, and I um I kind of decided to just do a live commentary on this video. Um, or this portion just because you know I was uh, I wasn't actually live commentary like I wasn't like um, talking while I was playing just because I was playing at night so I really didn't want to be too loud and then wake up my family and it's a big ass problem so I would not do that so I just like play and then I record and then I think um, I'm gonna do one commentary over my videos more often make sure to drop a like if you think that's a good idea you know and you know, let's get right into it. All right, get rid of the class setup, quick dog, grip, stock. And um, I wasn't using scavenger, I was using hardline in this gameplay. I don't know why. Uh, that was just a mistake by me, honestly, because I don't use hardline. I think it's useless in this game. Um, I wouldn't do it because they said I think it was uh, seven kills and then it doesn't work. But then I, mean, I got my advanced UAV, I'm going off. I took this guy, and, you know, I'm going off. You know, the mod is really good. I really like that this epic version. Um, I, I don't know, I want to try to get the Sentinel as well, but I decided to get the Mammoth. I had to save up salvage, as a matter of fact, just because I was saving up to to actually like get it out of like um supply drops, like, and I couldn't get it, so I just started saving up salvage and. You know, I just bought it with 4,000. It was either this one, like I was saying, it was either the Mauler, the Sentinel, or the Scout for the Titan. And I've been, you know, I've been, I've been going off with the Titan. The Titan is a really good um, LMG to use, to be honest. I didn't know that until I watched my boy Korean Savage's videos, and I was like, you know, I mean, Elite Shot's video, not Korean. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I just think it's, uh, I really like the Mammoth. I really do. It's two shot kill any range, and. It's really good. It's a really good epic weapon. I, I really recommend it to get it if you don't have it, you know. But I kind of just got it because I didn't have anything else to get. And, you know, now I'm saving my salvage to see if I can get another weapon. Oh, I almost died. I used my rerun. Rerun is really useful in my opinion. And then I end up killing him, you know what I'm saying? I have my brutal metal right there. And to be honest, people say, people talk shit about the semantic um, rig. I do too, to be honest, but then again, I mean, if you can't beat it, just use it, just join it, because I don't, I, then again, um, maybe, maybe, um, they fix the synaptic, maybe it's just a, a placebo effect where we think the synaptic doesn't have a good hitbox, but it does, you know what I mean, like, we've always, um, talked about the synaptic not having a good hitbox, maybe they already fixed that, and we still think that, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, um, 
and Fanini Ward, they probably did all uh, hot fix and stuff and fixed it, you know? As I got my juggernaut medal right there, you know? First try, you know what I'm saying? First try, like there's nothing, and, um, yeah. I think I'm gonna start doing more commentary over my videos and more so like, when I play at night. So I want to do the gameplay alone. And, um, yeah. Try to pick these guys off, and then they, one of them turns around, but I still kill them. And let me tell you, let me give you, as a matter of fact, let me give you guys a tip real quick while you guys are playing, you know. One of the most important things in Call of Duty um, is just paying attention to your mini-map. Your mini-map is one of the most helpful things in, like, while you're playing. It, it tells you where the enemies are, basically. If your friends, well, not your friends, your teammate, you know what I mean. If your teammates are on the right side of the map, chances are... Your enemies are on the left side because they're not going to be together unless you hear shooting and stuff. But chances are they're on the left side. Just pay attention to your um, your your teammates' um, positioning and just play off of that. You know what I'm saying? And always try to um, put yourself in the best position to win a gunfight. Like I always get on that ledge because I know I can pick them off like that. And I always try to be in the best position to kill somebody where I can be in a better position than they are right here. As I like, died just because I decided to slide in there, but yeah, that's basically it. Make sure to subscribe if you like if you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.